Hi, I'm back with um, my newly acquired uh, vintage um, handbags. They were bought um, over the week. All these were bought just um, in the span of two days, except for one handbag that I bought um, during my vacation in um, New Jersey two weeks ago. Some of these handbags um, have uh, um, brands, they are branded, and some of them uh, don't. But look at that, uh, you know, in different um, styles. I am so in love with the vintage handbags that I could easily spot um, a vintage handbag from a mile away. <laughs> okay, so, okay, let's start off with the... Okay, which one? All right, here. This is a um, vintage um, designer New York handbag. This is made in Italy, and um, I'm not sure if this is um, real snake skin. No, it's not snake skin. I think this is just um, embossed. And look at that, it is a, you can wear this as um, a clutch, um, the straps are detachable, and um, you can also wear this as a shoulder bag, and I just love it. I thought there were three partitions here, but um, boy, I was so wrong. It's just, it, that's just the style, and um yeah, it's a very, very um, good handbag. I've never heard of this brand before. It's uh, called um, Walter a Cotton of New York, and this is made in Italy. Um, this is in excellent condition, still has the silica gel in there. And um, yeah, this is in gorgeous, gorgeous condition. So I love this handbag. It's just a, a pretty piece of um, you know accessory <laughs> that would add a pop up of color to your um, wardrobe I love this okay next is this um, this is um, by Ruth Saltz and um, there are several Ruth Saltz um, handbags online and I just love love the wavy um, leather it's like uh, the Prada leather um, I forgot this kind of design it's not Tessuto uh, it's not Goffrey either I'm not sure and um, this has this um, I'm not sure if that's, that's a cougar or uh, it's a feline but I'm just not so sure what it is and um, and you can double this up as a shoulder bag you can lengthen it or shorten it and um, this is in excellent condition also and um, it, it has a satin lining it's just hard for me to um, yeah there you go it's it's it has um a monogrammed satin lining um signed um ruth salts and this is a gorgeous gorgeous handbag it's just the leather it's like uh, like i've mentioned um i would compare it to a prada this is a bit stiff but i like it it's a very very structured handbag and um, I just uh, polished um, the straps with Brasso and it came out uh, pretty good. Okay, another handbag here is this. Um, this is uh, a shoulder bag. However, I just um, removed a shoulder bag. I cut it, silly me, so I could... Um, substitute it i mean i could use the straps on my uh, gucci so this is a neiman marcus um vintage uh 
quilted, chevron-like uh, quilted bag. And um, you can use this as a clutch. And uh, when I saw this earlier, um, I had my Gucci floral vintage um, clutch in mind because I bought it without the straps and I just needed the white straps. And this turned out to be, you know, in, in, in uh, excellent condition. So I can still use this. And this is by Neiman Marcus and it is made in Canada. So it has um, smooth leather lining and... Um, these are the <laughs> the bits on the side. So let me show you the straps, okay? So I got the straps here, from here. Because um, when I bought this Gucci, it didn't come with straps. And I thought I could substitute it with a metal, um, metal straps. But uh, I don't think... It's okay, but it doesn't have any rib um, rivets here or uh, metal bits. So I decided to cut that and then just yeah, use this. So now I can use this. Although you can use this as a clutch. It's just that, you know, it, it, it's just, you know, I DIY'd it. <laughs> and uh, I just cut it and then just put it in. Uh, I think the... The, the original straps for these were a little bit uh, uh, wider than this, but uh, doesn't, you know, it's not obvious at all. So this, now I can use my vintage Gucci clutch because uh, I don't use clutch. I, w I love uh, to use shoulder bag. Okay. And this one, oh, I did not... Uh, buy this uh, this weekend i think uh, it has been tucked in there somewhere actually it, it's i don't know why i haven't featured this it's just missing some some seed pearls or seed stones there but um this has like a lizard um skin this is a leather but i don't think this is this is just lizard embossed and you know this is how you use it so it's you know it's really unique and you look at the cabochon clasp there it's really heavy though this is a no-name brand and um, yeah all I have to do is to um, put some some um, stones here and um, yeah, actually it doesn't affect the functionality of the handbag so the this is like in the Alexander McQueen style without the individual. Um, you can use this like this. So it's just so, it's just so unique. And um, this handbag, okay, it has that Gucci-ish uh, style or effect. And I just love this. It has a, a tiny, there's a, I'm going to bring this to, um, the cobbler tomorrow and um yeah so this is an easy fix so this is a very very structured handbag um when we talk about vintage bags um this is actually the very very famous one of the very famous styles of vintage handbags so if you're you're watching a lot of british comedies like um are you being served or uh, keeping up appearances. This is the bag that Hyacinth Bouquet or Bucket <laughs> um, uh, would often use. So, so this. Oh, so it has two um, open pockets and there you go. I was surprised to see this. This is made in Canada. It has no brand at all but it's made in canada you know i never you know it's very very um rare for me to see a handbag that's made in canada um and it's in excellent condition um i bought this uh at an antique um it's a very big antique um store in asbury new jersey 
I was in Belmar, New Jersey, because my cousin has a house there. We were there for two days, and um, I, I we just drove around, and it's uh, uh, near Asbury, and there's this uh, huge, huge. Um, it's a huge. Uh, it's like the whole floor. It was dizzying there, just antiques, you know. And I got this, and he gave me a discount because this was in the sh in the glass display case. They had tons of handbags. They were very, very. Guys, when you go to an antique shop, they are very expensive. Normally, this would be like a hundred dollars already, sixty dollars. But I got this for a good price because of this. So I'm just gonna have to spend, I guess, twenty dollars for them to sew this back in. And it has no flaws at all except for that it's in absolutely gorgeous gorgeous condition so yeah okay so this was um where did i buy this i bought this today i bought three bags today okay so this has like the same the same um black a lizard type of uh, skin but this is the, this is lizard embossed you can just see that because of the uniformity and uh, I like it it has a Gucci effect <laughs> you know with the um, this hardware it has a mesh strap here mesh and then yeah it I did polish this with Brasso earlier but it didn't um, improve much Anyway, uh, it adds to the character of the handbag, and this is a very structured handbag, guys. So, you know, like, this could very well rival the, you know, the high-end handbags of today that are, in, like, in, in the thousands. Like, th this has a Gucci vibe to it. And, um, yeah, I just turned this, and there. And the... It's absolutely perfect. So I was very happy to see this. And uh, yeah, I love, love, love vintage handbags. They're just gorgeous. They're beautiful. Because at the time, they were making handbags for um, for the sake of art. <laughs> not to, you know, some of them, most of them, not to transport you know, like what we have now, they're very functional. Our handbags, we carry the whole house with us. So um, before, they used to be like uh, masterpieces. It's just, I'm telling you, this is so gorgeous, so beautiful. It's perfect. I don't see any flaws. And it just looks so amazing and so new. Okay, there you go. And now, this one, I made a separate video on this one yesterday because I'm just so in love with um, this handbag because it's a very, it's a rare vintage handbag from this French designer. And I only got it for $2.99. That was um, really, really, you know, a surprise. And... Uh, it could, the coral color or orange color with this matte um, hardware and it's almost like in the um, Hermes style uh, it's close to that Hermes brick and orange color but this is more on the um, like coral coral color so it's not tangerine orange and um, the perfect i mean the inside is perfect except for the paint that's peeling off here i can probably use nail polish i've heard people using nail polish to a uh, uh, gold nail polish to um you know or maybe a sp spray painted and this is gorgeous and the leather is to die for guys the leather and um this has double flaps and yeah, look at that. It's absolutely perfect. So this is by um, uh, Edward Rambaud, okay, Paris. Um, so he also um, designed uh, 
a lot of uh, vintage, I mean, vintage jewelry and um, his pieces are very uh, sought after and I, I did a little bit of research and they are very expensive. Um, his necklaces would go for like 400 to $500 and uh, yeah. Now, last but not the least is actually my my favorite. <laughs> um, uh, okay, uh, I bought this today and uh, look at the style um this is a very very big clutch i mean it's a wide clutch so this is a shoulder bag and the style is like what is that's like cave style or this is genuine snake skin guys and i glued some of the uh, i glued some bit here because it was racing you know you would know that this is a real um, snake skin if some of the skins are raised. So um, I had to glue them back in. Look at that. It's like front and back. And just, you can just feel it. It's rough. And look at that. It ha it's raised. So this is a real um, snake skin leather. And it's just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous in an envelope style. And this is a huge handbag. Look at the Gucci handbag. And this is probably more than, uh, this is probably like 14 or 15 inches in length. So look at that. And I just love, love the color here. It's... The color of the leather here it is a smooth leather it's in um, tan no it's not tan it's like a bit of brownish <laughs> orange thing and look at that the um, hardware the straps are I mean just so unique I've never had this kind of straps and I was um, surprised to see that this was from this very very famous French designer Chic de Paris I also have one handbag uh, Chic de Paris and it's absolutely they are um, I think I've read uh, nine, he started making handbags 1920s and uh, so so this is a very very old handbag but still in gorgeous condition and this is the longest <laughs> and biggest clutch i've ever seen and it has a funky you know um, straps as well now let's look at inside look so it's just perfect it's perfect oh this looks like the you know uh the clutch uh, the closure of my Dior, vintage Dior. Too bad they could not fix it unless, you know, they have to change the entire thing. Okay, so. Look at that. See, look at that. This is, that's the um, Chic de Paris thing. And it's just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Everything about this is just so, so gorgeous gorgeous um this could be one of my favorites now and let me see if i still have yeah um let me move you for a bit i'm gonna look for my um other uh, chic de paris i haven't done the video yet the part two because i have no time where did i put it uh, okay there we go there we go okay so this is my other chic de paris handbag all right now this is a diy i added the studs guys okay but this is in patent leather and i ripped apart uh, a perfectly you know <laughs> a perfect vintage handbag and i took the studs off they, some of them are raised <laughs> and um, this one is flat though and this is just 
gorgeous. I would date this around nine between 1930s and 1950s. And look at that. It's also chic, the Paris bag. And it's beautiful. It's just gorgeous inside and out. I thought um, patent leather, you know, bags won't last, but I'm surprised that the patent leathers, um, vintage handbag, handbags, um, you know, are actually, um, you know, they're still, you know, okay <laughs> until now. So, um, and my Prada patent leather sneakers, I've been using them straight for four years and they still look brand new. So, so there. So, um, I have more vintage handbags than contemporary, you know, bags because I just love, love vintage bags. So, um, some of them I use, some, most of them I don't. It's just for... Uh, decoration purposes so um, I hope I could use this probably within the week <laughs> okay but I'm just too excited to you know use my my Gucci okay so guys uh, there you go I know some some um, some people here on YouTube are not very happy <laughs> I mean um, they like to um, dislike or just um, leave negative comments. Well, I really don't appreciate that. This is just for my my videos are for um, bag en enthusiasts, and um, I don't even have to apologize when I have to buy anything. You know, because I know that a lot of YouTubers have to, you know, have to apologize uh, in the beginning of their videos um, that they're not bragging or whatever. I, I don't have to apologize because, you know, this is my passion. And uh, if you're not into handbags, then don't watch the videos, right? So, so apparently most of us are all into handbags. So... So, uh, yeah, so there. Okay, hope you enjoyed this um, video and um, see you again next time. Okay, bye.